Hello, welcome to iPhone New Zealand and our tutorial for how to install the Telecom XT Carrier Bundle on your iPhone 3G or 3GS using a system with Microsoft Windows. Now for this tutorial I'm actually using Windows 7, however you can use Windows XP or Vista, the principles are pretty much the same. Now the first thing that you need is to install iTunes on your PC. I'd imagine that most of you already have that, but if not, you need to open your web browser and you need to navigate to www.apple.com forward slash iTunes forward slash download. Hit the blue download now button and the program will download to your computer where you will install it. If at the end of installation iTunes opens, please close it before we continue on to the next step. Now the next step is to go to our website which is at iphonenewzealand.co.nz Once you're there, please just scroll down the page just a, a wee way and you'll see a pane that says Carrier Bundles or the settings you need for your carrier. If you click on that, you'll then be taken to a, a list of the carrier bundles that we have and just scroll down until you find the one that says Tip Telecom XT Carrier Bundle and click on that. Once the Terracom Carrier Bundle page opens, scroll down slightly until you see a link that says PCUser.zip and click on it. Choose to save the file. And what I would suggest here is that you move it onto your desktop. Now, open the zip file and inside you'll find a folder called PC iTunes Fix. Open that and you will see two folders here, standard logo, XT logo, and some other files. Um, find the XT logo folder. This folder contains the carrier file that will put an XT logo on the top left of your iPhone. If you prefer to have just the letters X and T and not the actual logo, then go to the standard logo folder. Either way, you will find inside a file called telecom underscore nz dot ipcc. Drag this file onto your desktop. Now at this stage keep the zip file open but also open your C drive and navigate to program files then iTunes then what you want to do is move um, from the zip file that you downloaded from our site there's a file in there called fix iTunes which is a Windows batch file you want to move that into the folder that you just opened on your C drive program files iTunes once it's in there double click it to run it it will tell you that the publisher could not be verified but click run anyway and you will see a momentary terminal screen open and close and then iTunes should start if it doesn't just start it manually now at this stage if you haven't already click uh, sorry connect your iPhone via your dock or your USB cable and click on your iPhone in the left hand pane you will come up with your summary screen and you'll see a button that says check for update now at this stage hold the shift key on your keyboard and whilst you're holding it down click check for update now on your desktop, what we want to do, sorry, you'll, you'll see a, a drop down box on the right hand side of the dialog box. Click it and choose iPhone carrier configuration files.ipcc. You will now see the file that you just put on your desktop, the telecom underscore nz.ipcc. When you double click it, you'll see a brief box open and then close and you guessed it that is it your iphone is now all set up for the xt network and there's no more to do you only ever need to do that once if you haven't done already make sure that you sign up to our website and keep up to date with all the latest news and reviews for your iphone thank you for watching any questions please head to our site